Why do human minds generate religious beliefs? Why do they generate the specific religious beliefs that they do? Why do we believe in God or gods, various kind of gods? Why are we all, as human beings, vulnerable to those beliefs? Not only to generating them, but to believing them and spreading them. Well, we're on the verge of having complete answers to those questions. Most people don't realize it. But in the last 10, 15 years, there's been a revolution in the cognitive neurosciences and the psychological sciences. And we're starting to understand the mechanisms that the mind uses to generate these religious beliefs. And one of the things that's interesting is that this knowledge has been out there really for a while. Yet there's no place, there's no one place where people can go who are interested and quickly become conversant in it. And so with Claire Alcofer, I decided to write a little book that would give a reader, an interested reader, in just maybe an hour, hour and a half of their time, they would be able to learn all these mechanisms that end up generating religious beliefs. And our idea was that you could read this and become conversant in a few hours and that night at a dinner party be able to explain to people that you knew how human beings came to generate religious ideas, build gods, believe in them, and try to get other people to believe in them. Now, you may reasonably ask, why should I read this book? Well, because I think this book fills in a new and different niche. One of the exciting things about this current time is the argument that has been generated by such books as uh, Richard Dawkins' book, The God Delusion, Christopher Hitchens' book, God is Not Great, Sam Harris, his book, the End of Faith, his other book, Letter to a Christian Nation. These books are dealing with the basic argument about religion, its irrationality, uh, its dangerousness, its, um, the way that it, it you know, cripples us as human beings and cripples us as societies. It, it takes on the irrationality and destructiveness of religion. As, as Hitchens says, religion poisons everything. This book, this book that Claire Aquifer and I have done, is different. Because in a, in a way, it comes at it from a completely different direction. This book gives you the mechanisms by which humans construct religion. Why is this important? Who do we think uh, would be interested in this? Well, we're very modest in our ideas. We think that every thinking citizen of the world should read this book because religion is certainly one of the most powerful and damaging factors in global politics today. You only need to pick up a newspaper. And so anything we can do to help people understand how religion is man-made, Anything we can do to minimize the destructiveness of religion is a blow for civilization. Part of the proceeds are assigned to the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science. So if you purchase the book, you've made a donation to the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science.